Here in the spatial editor, we're gonna add some pins. So you can see we have our model over here on the left. We have our markers and one scene state. So up here we can click on add pin. And then of course we have to place the pin first on the actual model. And then once we select place it, we can then move it with the gizmo or on the far right with the configurations. So here we can change the name of the pin if we want and the different shapes that we have for it. So you can move that around. You have the transform to be able to move that pin as well. You can select one or more parts here. So I selected a hologram, for example, for the entirety of the, so this portion here in the middle. I can also edit that hologram to be a different color or to pulse. But here we're gonna add quickly another pin that again we have to select first on the model and then we can drag around with the gizmo. You have the option for the names. You also have a field on the bottom right when you're selecting them for custom values, lines, holograms, media files, and a small text description. And you also have what's called a quiz pin. So this will allow you to have a step in your workflow that takes the user through a quiz. So we can put here a question, for example, whether it be single or multiple choice. And you can see down at the below part, you can also do self-study for an maximum amount of attempts. And here we're just putting in some answers. So we can add in several values and then select the different answers for that as well. And we can just add that into the workflow just the same as the other ones. So with every basic, with every pin, you have a little bit of option here with naming, with the shape, and then some further information with media files, pictures, videos, holograms, and some other items. We'll go over any more and some other videos. Thanks.